Good day. I am Dr. K. Girish, physician, neurophysician and neurosurgeon. And I am also the past district governor of District 324K as well as the council chairperson, past council chairperson. This program is called the GTT Series 3. Girish Train the Trainers program. PMJF line Dr. K. Girish, neurophysician and neurosurgeon, past district governor, district 324K and past multiple council chairperson of multiple 324 of the Lions Clubs International, will be answering questions on the various facets of leadership to mold the young leaders of tomorrow. And this is organized on behalf of the Lions Club of Madras Excellence, District 324K. And in this series, the question what I'm going to answer or discuss or dwell is on the Ten Commandments for a Good Listening. Stop talking to make the speaker feel at ease. Three, show others that you're eager to listen. Four, remove distractions. Five, empathize with the speaker. Six, be patient. Seven, hold your temper. Eight, avoid arguments and criticisms. Nine, ask questions politely at the end. Ten, suppress the desire to leave the hall. These are the ten commandments for a good listening. Now stop talking is number one. How can you listen if you go on talking? So when you close your mouth, your ears will open. Your talking will distract your neighbors and the speaker per se. Two, make the speaker feel at ease. That means make him very comfortable. Help the speaker feel. This will help the speakers feel that he is free to talk. The speaker should know that his speech is welcome and you are ready there to listen to it. The third one is show others that you're eager to listen. Look at the speaker. You must have eye contact with the speaker. Then the person who is talking to you will understand. Yes, here he is listening to me. Show interest in others talking. Listen to understand rather than to oppose. Four, remove distractions. Don't busy yourself with other things. Don't doodle with paper, tap, shuffle papers. Let the speaker concentrate on his talk. Five, empathize with the speaker. Whoever is speaking, empathize with him. You need not sympathize, that means pity. But you must slip into the boots of the speaker and find out how he is feeling from his own uh, mind. That is where you call your empathizing. Put yourself in his or her place. Then only you can see his or her point of view. Be patient, that's the sixth one. The speaker may put your patience into trial. Don't lose your patience. Don't interrupt or talk to others at that time. Avoid bad body languages, you know, not interested like. Avoid that. Fifth, seventh, hold your temper. Don't lose your temper. An angry person seldom gets the right meaning from the words. Try to put up a smiling face. Smile is infectious. Eight, avoid arguments and criticisms. Don't argue or criticize. Don't say, oh, you are wrong totally. No. The speaker may become defensive. He or she may come up or become angry. Nine, ask questions politely at the end. This is an indication that you are listening. It encourages the speaker to open out. He or she will clarify with pleasure. If it's a doctor patient, the patient is complaining about headache, you can actually tell the patient, yes. I understand that you have pain on the right side, it's more so in the morning. You can stress. That means the patient understands, yes, this doctor is listening to me. Or in a case of a regular president with the club members, when you're listening to the club member, club member gets up and says, you know, that uh, we have to bring in an additional five more members. And he puts out certain plans of how he has got to bring in members. Listen to him. And then at the end, you can say, oh, yes, you said that we have to meet corporates, we have to go to colleges so that we can involve more youngsters into it. That's an excellent idea. That means you are with the, at the same wavelength as the speaker. Ten, suppress the desire to leave the hall. Don't head for the door. It embarrasses and distracts the speaker. It also diverts the attention of others. So glue to your seat till the end. So the ten commandments for a good listening are one, stop talking, two, make the speaker feel comfortable, 
Three, show others that you are eager to listen. Four, remove distractions. Five, empathize with the speaker. Six, be patient. Seven, hold your temper. Eight, avoid arguments and criticisms. Nine, ask questions politely at the end of the speaker's talk. Ten, suppress the desire to leave the hall. So that's indeed uh, the answer for the ten commandments for good listening. Thank you. Thank you very much.